The rising sun heralded not only a new day, but a new era for one of the oldest rituals in South Africa. In keeping with tradition, hundreds of single Zulu girls spent the night in tents at a ravine before heading to the annual reed dance. The centuries-old African ritual aimed at providing the leader of South Africa's largest tribe with a new wife included for the first time girls from other races. The historic decision came from Zulu King Goodwill, reflecting his desire to create a unified nation out of strife-torn KwaZulu-Natal province. The five times married king has in the past chosen a new bride from the dancers, though the multicultural council stressed a non-Zulu girl would not be considered marriage material. But the occasion was not without controversy. Members of the Nkata Freedom Party failed to attend, indicating that the rift between the national Zulu leader Chief Kutulezi and the king has not yet healed. But above all, this was a celebration of a new cultural solidarity. Although modesty prevented the non-Zulu girls from sporting the traditional non-dress of the Zulus, all the participants were united with one voice. <laughs> 